Q&A week. Great question this week. It's a great question. I'm never going to be able to get through all of it, but I'm going to try. Uh, it's from Dave Jennings. It says, could you discuss the different types of marabou? I see different types at my local shop, Strong Quill, Wooly Bugger, Mini, to name a few. How do, how do these differ? How are, they diff how are the different types applied when tying various flies? Uh, that's a great question. It's very pertinent to a lot of the flies I tie because uh, if you've ever seen me do a tying seminar or ever watch the Streamer Chronicle or something, I'm always getting asked what's my favorite material. And without question, I always answer the same thing. It's marabou. It's got soul. I love it. <clears throat> but in reality, it hasn't been around that long to the best of my knowledge. And when I say that, I mean, I mean when you're old as dirt, it, that's relative. But I don't really remember it until the 70s. And it's probably earlier than that. But I, it's kind of like before I was doing, getting ready for to do this, I was just flipping through some of my old books and you know, you go even in the 70s, you look at the flies, it's hard to find marabou in a fly. I, there was a, there used to be an ad in, a, in an Outdoor Life magazine that I, as a kid, that I remember, I think it was in the 60s, I can't remember. And it said something about, it showed the fly and it said banned in seven states, you know, because it was so effective. <laughs> and of course, that's when I wanted it, when it was banned. And so it never was, it was, it was never that. But uh, originally it comes from a stork and I've seen a couple stork marabou, it's uh, the marabou stork, uh, it's an African stork and it, I remember back in the mid 70s people would have it around now and then the real stuff but it probably got banned, I don't know when it came about uh, and people, it, it, you know, there was a need for it and basically like a lot of our materials it comes, it's a byproduct of something else, it comes from the fashion industry and they trim out garments and they make stoles and all kinds of stuff with it. And it's, you know, cause it's so wispy and fun. And, and so it became a byproduct for the fly tying world. It didn't start with us. And so, and then it began with marab turkey marabou. And it's again, it's the, and I'll just show you, mostly it comes down by the hind end. It's a, it's just this patch underneath there. And of course we farm turkeys and they get, there's a lot of, a lot of turkeys harvested every year, so there's a lot of this byproduct. And so I'm going to walk you through basically how it starts, and the, what you would see in a fly shop, and kind of maybe walk you through what I use, use it for. And I, <clears throat> I think I'm going to just start with the, the, the regular marabou. Because, you know, I, I do seminars all over the place, and I ask people all the time, and a lot of people haven't even heard of, like, the other styles. Everybody's familiar with this though. And there's a little confusion on the, on the traditional marabou. And traditional marabou is what you see on almost every fly commercially tied. And there's basically, in the blood quills is what you'll see it called, blood quill marabou. There's basically just that. And there's, there's not different styles. There's just turkey, it's turkey mar or tur blood quill and it's all from the turkey. And basically what you see is you see the quarter ounce, but it doesn't say that always, quarter ounce, and it's just the weight, it's how much is in this bag. And so quarter ounce, and, and I get that question a lot, well, do I want the quarter ounce or the one ounce, like it's a different feather. It's just how much is put in this bag. This is an ounce of it, this is a quarter ounce. And so, but the, on the quarter ounce ones, they usually just say blood quill, and that's the confusion, they think this is different. And it's not, it's just when they, when they do this stuff, they string it up, cut it, and package it, and so what you've got are two different sizes. And so <clears throat> then you go, and I'm, I'm going to go through the types, and then I'm going to go back to the application of what we use. And so afterwards, after Marabou, you know, it started out just as the blood quills. And then pretty, I don't know, not too long ago, they came out, and I don't know what year, I mean, five, ten years ago, I don't know. You came out with what was called Wooly Bugger Marabou. Wooly bugger marabou is, I think, all from a chicken because it's much smaller. You put them right beside each other. You see this stuff here. This is obviously turkey. And this is also referred to back when I first saw it, it was called grizzly marabou. So you got grizzly marabou, which is in this, came in bags. And then you started seeing it strung again. And it was called chickaboo. And there's, a, it's just kind of, I think it's just, chicken versus this stuff. You can see the different sizes. 
<clears throat> and so, and now as of late, you're starting to see the, the woolly bugger marabou, and I'm going to get to that and the lengths and stuff in a second. And now we're starting to see, uh, this is super boo. This, this stuff comes from whiting, uh, which of course has, you know, raises chickens. That's all they do. And this, this stuff is really cool. Uh, again, it's just a patch. It's just hasn't been pulled off, strung together. And by the way, I, I keep saying strung. What strung means is this stuff is sewn together. It's strung together. You can see it in the close up. It's just sewn together. That's what strung marabou means. This stuff is just one patch. It's not been pulled out and sewn together. And the last thing in the marabou world <clears throat> is this right here. This is an extra select plume. Put it where Jeremy can do a close up on it. And what you're gonna see, and I think every tire I know uh, did the same thing. When you saw extra select, you thought you were gonna get even more better, right? And, and we'll have to get to this when we do the technique, but it's not true, it's just the longer shaft. So instead of having this little feather right here, now I've got this longer shaft. But if you look at the sides of it, we'll do a close up here. When you look at the sides of it, it's really down here. It's really the same length. It's not way longer than the other one. It's just that the stem is longer which is fine if you're going to strip it and do the side, but you don't get as many. These usually come in like a dozen pack, I think. And then <clears throat> you don't get a better, you don't get a better feather. You just get longer shaft. And that's good if you're just going to strip it, bad if you're going to try to palmer. So back to the application. And I'm going to start with the chickaboo or the woolly bugger marabou because it's kind of, Kind of new, not, I mean, not new as relative, uh, five, 10 years. Again, it's originally you'd see it in this stuff and it was called Grizzly Marabou. It's basically these soft tackle patches. It's just the small, shorter, it's, you know, this is just down, it's all it is. It's just, it's like the, the downy stuff down by its hind end. And so these little packages were the first ones I saw and then it started getting packaged strung and that's where I started seeing it more, uh, you saw it more places and more people using it and and that unfortunately the name woolly bugger people started using it for tails on woolly buggers and it's okay if it's a small one i guess but it really it's right on the edge on a lot of them so when i use this stuff and this one's an exceptional piece when i use this <clears throat> you can see them down here it's shorter than the traditional one right here if you were doing size eight or smaller, this probably be okay on a tail. What I use this stuff for is my connection cover on my articulated flies. So when I do an articulated fly, I've got a tail section here connected with a piece of wire. It's got some beads in it, to, and then it's got a little flash boo sometimes. And then generally speaking, I put a little bit of marabou over that to make that fly look like it's one, homogenous, just all together, right? And that's when I find this is really great. This stuff is great for, I go in and I'll pull just about an inch off the side of it and I get this perfect little tail. You can see it would be, it's all the same length and it's a perfect little connection cover. And that's about all I use it for. On a few wet flies and some of your bigger soft tackle style flies, it's a great little connection. But for tailing wise, it's got to be, you, you know, really limited. If you're doing size 8s, 10s, 12s, great. Usually pretty good. Again, like any other product, and, and on, the, on, the, on the Chickaboo in particular, I'm going to pull one out, because on almost any natural product, you get about a third of its waste. But on the Chickaboo, and I'm going to, I don't know if Jeremy can close up on this and you'll be able to see it, but what uh, this one that I pulled was absolutely perfect, right? It's nice and fuzzy all the way through. But what you'll see on a lot of these, if they're not selected, is you're gonna get a kind of a tip on it. So you can't use the tips of the feathers. You have to strip the side, but that's all right. Cause you're gonna use, mostly that's what you're gonna use it for is small stuff anyway. And you wouldn't be able to use this tip. If you're gonna palmer this stuff, uh, it's usually pretty hard to palmer. It's got too stiff of a shaft up there and it'll crack on you. You're gonna have, then you're, if, you're still gonna be able to find them, but you're gonna have to sort, you're gonna go into that 50% drop, you know, waste on this. 
So that's basically what I use for those. Or on really, on some of the smoke wagons is another one I use this on, which I forgot. Uh, Johnny's supposed to remind me when I forget, but he doesn't do it. He likes me to look dumb. Maybe it's because I pick on him so much. Yep. But, oh, a voice from the other side. When I stack my marabou on the smoke wagon and on the silk kitties and on the barely legals, I use this stuff. But again, I drop a lot. I lose half of this stuff. If you've got the select stuff like this that's already pulled, you get a little bit more. But I like this on the top. When you, If you look and you'll see, I'll have Johnny put a close-up of a smoke wagon. You'll see I use this on the top and bottoms when I'm not trying to get a long wing. The wings are only that long. That's when I use a lot of this stuff as well. So then you go into the regular marabou, right? Like just the strung marabou. And so basically with strung marabou, you've got two applications. Um, <clears throat> you've got, you're using it as a tail or a wing, right? So like on a woolly buggy, that'd be on a tail. If you're doing uh, bigger barelys, bigger, oh, I don't know, any of the, I use it in the neck, pearl necklaces and some of those. Anything I use on a flapper tail, I use this longer stuff. And I basically use two styles. I either use it as a tail where I, I pull up like this and I get them all the same length and that would be my tail. If I'm doing, if I'm gonna palmer it, what I'm looking, what I'm meaning you're gonna wrap it around there, I use the same fire, but I make sure this thing is really wispy so I can wrap it. And it gives you a real, like on the TNA, the original TNA is three different palmers, and it just gives you this really loose and webby, and that's when you get these flies that super swim, right? And so that's what I'm gonna use this stuff for. I don't stack with this as much. I do a little bit, uh, but I tend to use that stuff on the smaller, on the bigger ones like a, a Silk Kitty, I'll stack this, and that point, I don't really care which I do. I can either pull it off the side, I'm always picking on Charlie Craven because he only uses the side. Charlie's one of the greatest tires around, right? He always uses this, I don't know if he always does, but I heard that, I saw him do something once, he said, I only use the sides. And it was funny because I only use the tips. Obviously, that's two different opinions. Uh, Charlie's flies are great. Uh, mine are okay and so these are it's just two different aspects how you're gonna do it but it's but whatever it is you're gonna have to select these things you just don't get to grab one and use it you've got to you've got to select your own materials the one thing I would just just overemphasize is if you're gonna palmer this stuff take it and make sure that you can you cannot crack the shaft like that when you bend it if it cracks it's too stiff move further down until it's really soft all right, <clears throat> on the select plumes, for me personally, about all I can do with these is pull it on the side. And on the and in reality, when you take these really extra select plumes, what I've always found is when I worked with it, I end up getting way up here before I get real consistency. Consistencies, the, the barbulars on the side are all the same length. And so when I get into this extra select that I'm paying for this extra select, what I find is there's not that much difference left when I get to the really quality stuff. I don't really use this stuff very much. Okay, Chickaboo, we've already done that. We've got one more, one more thing to show. Did I miss anything on stacking application, none of that stuff? Okay, let's pull this off here so you can't see that it's not pretty. So, this is the, this is the last one I'm gonna mention. And this is, this is completely new to the best of my knowledge. The, this is called mini, uh, mini bugger, mini, <laughs> bugger, bugger boo, bugger boo, <laughs> bugger boo mini bar. Bugger boo mini bar. This stuff is all hand selected, all right? Nature Spirit does it too. They take these things and what they do, and this, and a MFC, Montana Fly Company does this in a bunch of dyed colors. And this is a really cool product. I don't usually go to a single product, but this stuff is hand selected for the just the shortest ones. And everyone, same with when Julia Nature Spirit does these, she pulls them one at a time and packages them. So there's not really a lot of selection. But this is pretty new to me. I didn't, matter of fact, I think two years old, two maybe, yeah, three. three. I don't know. Pretty new, but it's a really good package of stuff. I pulled the sticker off. I think it's four bucks or something. Don't quote me on that one. But 
it's all hand selected. There's, they're dyed one, you know, they put them in and they're dying and putting the bars on this stuff. And basically they're just trying to get the, the grizzly, like this original stuff, which is all out of grizzly dyed, trying to get the same effect, but get different shades and stuff. So it's not just black, you know, what tone on whatever black. They got brown on t yellows and all these different tones. But they go in and they hand select these things. So there's really not ever any bad ones in these things to speak. I'm sure there's one or two, but you don't really get many. So it's got a really great application. I've been using this on almost all my stacks. Like when I do the flat liners and the bang tails, the barely legals, silk kitties, any of those things. I've started to add these on our mini sex dungeons. We put them in there and I'm starting to like it. It was a little bit hard for me at first. I didn't it just was new, you know, you got to get used to it. But I found these things to be pretty handy in, on these barred stuff. I don't, they still don't use it. On, I don't even know if they do it in the solid colors. And I didn't really mention that with your marabou. I mean, there's, uh, marabou comes in every color imaginable. Uh, on the stuff like this that is, that is artificially barred, you've still got a limited number of colors, but pretty good, not too bad. So, a lot of stuff there. I mean, but basically what it comes down to, you got Chickaboo, which is the short stuff, which is also called Wooly Bugger Marabou. Then you go into your Strung Marabous. Uh, that's where that's where 95% of your Marabou is going to be. That's what you're going to use. Uh, and then you go into your Selected stuff, which is dyed. And then you go to your Chickaboo patches. It's, a, it's all the same thing. It's just a different how it's packaged. So that's a lot of stuff. Don't forget, if you send us in your question, we send you a hat and a box of flies. Uh, we're getting great questions. We, we're actually starting to lean a little bit more towards the Q&A because we're just getting bombed with them. And so we're starting to do a few more of them. Uh, hope that helped you out. Thanks.